everybody welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing really well today in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a balloon arch just like this one it's completely air filled so there's no helium required and all I'm using as a frame is a lamp that I bought from Ikea so you'll be able to make this at home super duper easy for an event or for anything that you'd like to celebrate so without any further ado let's jump straight in Okay, so this is the lamp that you're going to need if you want to do this one exactly the same as me. This is called a Scaftet lamp. It comes in two pieces available in IKEA when you go to buy it, but you'll only need the one piece if you're using it as a frame for balloons. So this is the one piece that you're going to need. It's quite hefty, it's really heavy, and I would probably recommend using a couple of people to lift it. I wouldn't try doing it on your own if you've got a weak back or anything like that because it is really, really heavy. So I haven't actually opened it up yet since we bought it. Let's do that now. We may have to make some modifications to the top part of it where the lamp would go because on a couple of other lamps that I've used as frames from Ikea you have to take out the wire but we can easily do that as well if it's necessary but for today just because it's a bit of a test one we might just leave it as it is and then we can do that for when we are going to be using it as a frame to hire out. All right then so when we open the box this is what we've got so um yeah, so this is the top of the lamp, so you can see where the bulb would go in there, and this will actually just fit into the top of the frame, so we might not even need to worry about taking that off because we're not going to put it in here in the first place. So let's just open this box out a bit more. We've got some instructions there on how to put it together, I guess. They always provide the tool that you need, so make sure if you're using this on a job that you keep hold of your tools because you want to make sure that you're not going to lose them. Right, there's a couple of bolts as well, so let's put them to one side. You can see here that the wire comes out at the bottom of this piece that I've just shown you and it does go through that framework, so we may need to just cut that off because we don't need it, but what we're going to do is make sure that everything fits together properly first. So, let's get all these bits out. We've also got a smaller Allen key there that they provided. And then this is the big base which weighs 500 tonnes. <laughs> it probably doesn't weigh 500 tonnes, but it's pretty heavy. It doesn't actually say what it weighs, and normally they should do, I think. So, on the bottom of here, you've got some protective like um, squishy foam stuff that will stop it scratching your floor or whatever. I am still going to put it down onto this piece of card on my wooden floor because I don't want any more scratches than I've already got. Next then, just pop it together as per the instructions that come with the lamp. things off straight away until I'm certain that this is going to work as a frame. I can't see why it won't but you never know. So I've just moved it over into the corner a little bit. I'm going to bring it out a touch so that the balloons can come up and over. I might not have enough ceiling space here for this but we shall see. This is also a really good frame because if you wanted to you could make it a little bit smaller by not putting on all of the sections. So there are one, two, three, there's five sections that you can put together, but if you wanted to make it a little bit smaller for a smaller venue or in a home or something like that, you could not put this last section on here and just not screw it on. So that's going to cut out about 18 to 20 inches of space that you're not going to use. So what I'm going to do is move it over a little bit so I've got a little bit more ceiling room and then I'm going to start putting the balloons onto it. 
So I've just prepared some balloon garland here and I have put these together with some ribbon to start with but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. All I'm going to do is just pop this garland onto here. Let's move that plug out of the way and all I'm going to do is put my hand through the side of the garland here and I'm just going to get through there and I'm holding now onto the pole of the frame. So what I can do now is just push all my balloons onto that pole so they are pretty well fixed onto there. So you can see now how the pole is in between there. Now you don't have to use ribbon if you don't want to, you can just put them on in individual quads. So because one of my quads has actually split here I've just got another quad, another duplet of balloons here I'm just going to pop that on the top there and I'm just going to wrap it over to make that fit nicely. So that is now attached onto there and it's ready for the rest of the balloons to go up and over the top of the frame. What you'll need to do is start inflating duplets of balloons in different sizes so you can see that the bottom one is much bigger than the top one and again with these and I just mix the colours up and then just wrap them together to make those into a quad of balloons and then what we're going to do is just pop that onto there and then once we've got it placed we can just wrap that and cross them over so that is now attached onto our framework inside and it's not going to go anywhere it's really well fixed onto our frame what we want to do now is just keep on adding our quads until we've reached the end of the frame just so that it's going to fit in and sort of taper the design off a little bit so if you want to create the tapered effect that's what you'll need to do just make that one a little bit smaller okay so that is the main body of the balloons done so now all we need to do is do some five inch quads linked together with some 260 cues and we're just going to put those into the design just to accessorize it and finish it off. So these are my five inch sets. So all I've done is just inflated exactly the same as I would with an 11, but I've just made them to be really random, smaller round sizes. And then I've just got a 260Q modeling balloon cut in half. So you can use one 260Q for two sets of these. And I've just tied that into those three balloons. So I'm just making quite a few of these and then I'm just going to dot them into the design. First you've got the 260, it does allow you to stretch your balloons out a little bit. So you'll be able to come in at the back here and then just pull that through and place your balloons in there. You could even pull that through so it wraps around and creates a nice effect just on your arch there. So I'm going to do that all the way up my design now.
putting the five inch balloons in is to sort of hide any gaps that you might have in your design so if you've got anywhere where the balloons these bigger ones aren't quite pushed together enough to create a really nice snug look you can use a triple arrangement of five inch to just pop in there and fill in that gap and it works really really well the other thing that I want to make sure that I tell you about and I've left this one to show you is when you are putting your balloons together you'll have the necks still attached to them and this is one of the only times that I don't really cut the necks off and you'll know if you've watched any of my other balloon videos that I am passionate about making sure that all the necks are cut off the balloons to make sure that it's a nice flawless streamlined look on your finished design and this isn't what we want to see and that's one of the reasons why with my other designs I always cut off those necks but with this you can't really because you need that additional support there so all you'll want to do is just push them to the other side of those balloons so that now you can't see them and they're all hidden from view of the client there. The one last thing that I wanted to mention about putting your 260s on is it's a good idea if you can to try and match the colour of your 260Q balloon to your balloon. So here I've got a black one which is going through the gold and ideally I would have preferred to have had that as a gold one so that you couldn't actually see it. I'm going to just try and just move that there a little bit so that you can't see it quite so much and it does hide it a little bit better now you can't really see that unless you are really really looking for it that's it then guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have i'd love to see you again for another so don't forget to subscribe drop me any questions or comments that you've got down below about the balloons and i will definitely answer them as quickly as i can for you as usual everything i've used will be listed in the description box down below so if you want to check that out head down there thank you so much for watching and i really hope that this has been useful for you if it has don't forget to hit the like button and i'll see you again for another one really soon bye